What is your weld telling you? Listening and learning from it can make you better at the skill. You know, as materials and new vehicle construction keep advancing, welding equipment and the repair techniques must evolve. In MIG or MAG welding, the wire speed, current, and voltage all work together with the shielding gas to create the perfect weld conditions. Technique is a huge factor in weld quality as well. The angle of the torch, which direction you move your hand, and the distance from the workpiece, well, they all affect the weld. Many newer welders are synergic, meaning the current, voltage, and wire speed are all linked. By selecting the material thickness, all of the other parameters are predefined. All of these factors combined can make it challenging when something goes wrong. Watching and listening to the art can help, but inspecting the weld result may give you a better clue as to where to start. Gas flow is often a cause of welding problems. When gas flow is too low, you will experience poor arc stability and combustion, causing a burnt, sooty appearance and a porosity in the bead. When there is no gas flow, the welder will act like a plasma cutter. You will see an unstable arc and no fusion. When the gas flow is too high, turbulence will draw the air into the gas envelope and your weld will have a rough appearance, particularly along the edges. The welding current could also be too low or too high for your weld. If the current is too low, the bead will be clumpy and inconsistent, and material lying on the surface will have little to no penetration to either sheet. When the current is too high, too much heat will cause a flat or concave weld bead and will burn through. There are three potential reasons for these results. First, travel speed is too slow, which results in too little current and poor penetration. Second, too slow of hand speed results in too much heat and burn through. Third, different alloy wires have different requirements, so using the wrong program can cause a major problem. Checking your voltage is also a good place to start when troubleshooting. When voltage is too high, the arc will be too long. There is a risk of wire melting into the contact tip, and the weld bead is very flat and will lack penetration. When voltage is too low, the arc length will be too short and the wire will hit the material, which causes excessive splatter. Think about the process and where to start troubleshooting. Your weld results tell you a lot. Make the investment in perfecting your skill just like you invested in the equipment. And don't forget, practice, practice, practice.